Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anyone that has Cancer in their chart, this is your reading for April. Thank you for coming back to Robin's Realm Readings, if you are. Thank you. And you might check out my other channel. I'm going to upload an amazing, really encouraging, roomy reading. There's been this trend of like people being in their blue hearts, people being sad and down to the point where they're even thinking about, you know, taking their life and such, and that's really horrific. I thought I'd bring, ooh, that was rough. Good thing I got my crystal bowl here. Okay, I was firing up some sage in my bowl there. Guys, thank you for being here. New, old, returning. I thank you. Give me just a second. I have to find something. I don't know where it is. Hmm. That's where it is, minute. Hey there. For your sake, Cancers, I'm going to do a quick sound blessing for Cancers. Spirit, Holy Spirit, we need Archangel Michael, Healing Angels Raphael. Come into the presence now so we can read for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Nodes. And find out what they're going through on their heart level. Maybe we can help them through their process with some encouragement. Thank you, Spirit. Appreciate that. I'm a sound journeyman. I don't take a lot of time to do recorded meditations. I save that for when I do one-on-one -on -one Reiki with you. You get a big package with me. And it's best to be in person, but I can do it distance healing for you. Cancer, someone rising, Venus, North Node, Cross Watchers. Welcome to Robin's Around Readings. Let me do my quick, um, this is my triple threat. And this is a, this is a set of sprays that I made because I do Reiki. And I wanted the tool to use because I was going to yoga studios a lot and to meditations a lot. And what I noticed cancer was, they almost always had like this really awesome um, sacred scent in the air. And that's like with old churches. So I was meditating real deep one day. And I asked the guides, I said, you know, how nice it would be to have something to offer other people. And they gave me three different scents over the course of time. But the first one they gave me was the Sacred Holy Anointing Mist. It's made with ancient scents. And I use this on my hands specifically. And on the crown of my head. Three times the number of commitment. You have to have power too. You're, you know, there's a lot of us that need some power. So today I hope that this reading blesses you and gives you some guidance. We're going to start with a Brian Froud Fairy Oracle to see where you're at. Okay? Let me do my ones. And then this one is badass. This is clear black magic and spells. This stuff good, works really good as you if you use the mantras and have faith. I use it around my whole body in an orb so that I'm completely protected and a whole lot less attractive to negative energies. There we go. Cancer, someone rising Venus. How are you, honeys? I may be a little slow. I'm still mending a broken arm. So bear with me as I bring you some love. April 2022 for Cancer. What's it look like, Spirit? What's their messages? How can we help them this month? Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the theme of their energies? Spirit children. Since I'm new to these cards, bear with me while I while I read them to you. Okay. The fairy godmother. Look at her. She does look kind of like a cancer to me. Isn't she fantastic? She's fantastic. She's absolutely fantastic. She's number 25, though, so she can be a little troubling, too. We're going to find out if she's up to mischief or if she means you well. Let's find out real quick. And then we're going to go right into the tarot, okay? We're not going to fuss around too much. We'll get right into your energy, what's going on, your energy, and everybody in your life. April 2022. We're talking about cancers right now, spirit. Oh, my God. 
I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. So you deserve this message then. And I'm feeling this compassion towards you. I really do. It's really um, motherly. What would we do without you? What would we do without the loving touch of a cancer in our life? It's not the same. I have a cancer granddaughter. She's the only one. And let me tell you, she's loyal to a fault and so sweet. And um, I'm grateful for her presence in my life. Unconditional love. So I think cancers probably know unconditional love more than anyone, which is why they kind of sorrow sometimes that things aren't better. They never seem to get better. They never seem to get better. You know what I mean? And I feel you. But you have to be those that have that mother spirit. Um, and you have the godmother. So she says, this is about gifts, about your talents, about grace, and about helpful lessons. One morning recently, I was having breakfast at the local cafe. And my favorite waitress, Peggy, stopped by my table. And she asked what I was working on. I showed her my scribbled in copy of Good Fairies, Bad Fairies and explained that I was choosing the cards for an oracle deck. Of course, the fairies were choosing them, but I didn't necessarily want to explain that in a whole cafe. <laughs> that makes sense. Peggy has been having a bad morning with difficult customers. She had reached the stress point where she was dropping and spilling things, which only made matters worse. I encouraged her to pause for a bit, but since the cafe wasn't really busy, and took a, a look at the fairy pictures. She thought she, she couldn't, but I employed the Piper's wiles, coaxing her. When Peggy got to the page of the fairy godmother, she stopped and smiled. Oh yes, she said. She must be in the deck. Definitely, she must. And the longer Peggy looked at her, the bigger her smile grew. Look at her, she's holding my apple in her hand. Isn't that beautiful? Cancer, you're so beautiful right now. I love you with all my heart. Look at the colors and everything is so ooh la la. I could see Lady Gaga walking out and something like that, you know? Elegant and grace is the good fortune we get from the universe when we don't deserve it. In fact, deserving or not deserving is not the issue. We are, and therefore we are loved. Right, Cancer? You are, and you are loved. And it's just that simple. Sari, the fairy godmother, is a giver of grace and occasionally, and quite often in fact, of useful lessons. She tries not to interfere with our learning processes, but she adds that little touch of fairy grace that helps us to learn a little faster sometimes. Quite often she acts in our lives through the hands and hearts of others. This is nice. The fairy godmother is the only one to wear the crown of stars, flowers, and branches, which says a lot about her. Luckily, each of us has a fairy godmother to provide the extras that our guardian angels are often too busy to think about. Fairy godmothers, in general, are well known for their love of parties. Don't forget to invite them to your festivities and special occasions. The fairy godmother glows through you as you perform loving and appropriate kindnesses for others and develop your capacity for unconditional love. I think you're the bomb.com and I dig you so much. By the way, I'm gonna bring you an ancestor card, okay? So you have a guidance on this reading. Spirit, thank you so much for your presence in this reading with Cancer and enlightening my energy as well. Tapping me into divine forces of good. It makes my heart glad. And I feel like the Holy Spirit's with me because when my elbows and my knees tingle, I'm being touched by God. And it's for your sake. Thank you for the love that you give me, the gifts, the kindnesses, the cards. I should use my Ostara deck for you guys. But I don't think so this time. If you win the bonus reading, of course. And if you join me on Patreon and support my work, Cancers, my darlings, you get enough readings, uh, dollars for three free readings a month. I give away gifts, sometimes more than one. If you're on a higher level of giving, I give away amazing gifts, like gigantic crystals, Reiki sessions. Um, I'm getting ready to give away something else to my 
I'm going to be giving the triple threads bracelet for my gift to any of my members this month. Everyone qualifies. It doesn't matter who you are. And if you're in my, my Patreon supporting me, I know that you love what I do. Here you go. So the energy around you is very profound. It's very passionate. If you have an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're either working with, loving with, seeking, interested in, or is interested in you, or you're just hot to trot right now, <laughs> that could be too. He gets things done. He's extremely passionate king. He's mature. They don't play games with anyone. Sometimes he'll take an extra lover. You know, like Louis the Fourteenth or any other big kings, they always had lots of lovers. People in power seem to have a lot of lovers. Maybe that's why some people get into power, but then they get all distorted. We'll just not talk about that. We're talking about your blessings. What are the energies for Cancer in April, please? We're right on top of it. This is last minute because I don't... Listen, the reason I do this for you is I wait till closer to the time so I can tap exactly into you. I don't appreciate doing too far in advance unless I'm doing exceptionally well in life and have lots of help and support. Some of you, though, are feeling sort of burdened. I dare say some of you may be, or a fire sign in your life, maybe at the last rope with something, dealing with something. And I don't know what it is, but it's tiring. They're tired. This could be the king of wands in your life who's tired, or that could be you representing these energies. Battle-weary. I'm battle-weary. I need my fairy godmother to give me that one little kick so I can revive in April. April's a good month, though. Okay, what else is coming up for my beautiful cancers, or beautiful, glorious cancers? Um, I just want to wrap my arms around you guys so much. I do. Here we go. What else is happening with cancer? Oh, at the crossroads. Mm. You're blocking somebody because they're getting on your last nerve. That's what I get. That's what I get. It could be a fire sign or it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's something you can't see and you want to see it. You're asking your fairy godmother and your guides to help you. Of course you are. Ask uh, your angels, though. Ask God to anoint your angels to lead you intuitively as to where you should go for your safety. It's always about your safety first, cancers, and then it's about romance and family and such like that, however your priorities go. But it looks to me like you do have a choice to make in lovers. Now, there could be a Gemini that somebody's blocking. It was... I think 12, 12 when I said that. Um, this could be a Gemini, but it could be a you're blocking one lover because they're burdening you. What else is here? The Queen of Cups. And that could be you, or that could be a fellow water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This could be one of the choices you might have to make. Wow. Spirit. I need clarity on this two of swords, please, for my cancers. We have Ace of Wands, somebody only wanted sex. Always in it for the passion, and you block them just because that's all they ever wanted. They didn't really bring you anything. Tell me more about the lovers, please, for cancers in the month of April. What happens in April? Now, these things might not happen to you. This reading may not even apply to you. A lot of it will, because I'm tapping into you. But what I'm saying is, it could be somebody's reading. If the, I always say that if the whole reading isn't fully your story, don't buy it. Take, take whatever you know applies in the energy fields and see what's around it because we're psychics. We're give, you know, we're, we have these gifts of seeing and they're willing to work with us because we're willing to sacrifice our time to see for you. That's why we ask you for lights in our videos. We're going on further now. This could play across anyone's perspective, okay? Cross watchers, I don't know. And if you're the one that's burdened, uh, I pray that you find relief. 
lovers in the past. No more working with a specific lover. You just never built in the garden. They didn't grow anything with you. You had done all the work, apparently. This is usually an earth sign, but it's work in reverse. History, romance. So someone is a history to you right now because of the way that they treated you. You're gonna, they're going to be history. Clarify the seven of coins in reverse. This little fairy oracle on Wednesday. Here we go. Yeah, this is your fire sign in reverse. She's kind of a bitch. This is a person who's getting kind of a bitchy, controlling behind the scenes. You might be working with somebody. You know, usually when you see this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're quite upright. They're very fashionably light. They're very fashionable. They're very front forward. If they have something to say, you better listen, maybe, because they are very fiery. They're very passionate about what they believe. They're very passionate about how they feel about life, and they're very passionate. Now, they could also be passionate, but uncontrolled energy, warring kind of energy, angry kind of energy, and you just can't build with that. For some reason, you're feeling like you can't build with that. Would you please explain this Queen of Wands in reverse? She's definitely not herself right now. Now, that's kind of a low vibrational, passionate person that only wants sex, really. And it's not a foundation to build a relationship on. And I dare say you might be feeling that, my, God, my darlings. Here we go. Who is she, really, to my cancers? Well, first of all, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, full of passion, all up in their head, can't see everything, don't know what's coming. They might be in jail because of their passions. There's something wrong with this person's energy. Um, you have fire signs and you have air signs. All right. They, you have pulled back your heart from someone. You're not in love with them anymore. You don't love what they're doing. They, you don't love the way they behave towards you. You don't feel that they are a compliment to you because you're very nurturing and kind. You don't, you want someone who's in their full love and equal. This would be a divine match in God's eyes. You would be placed with someone that's divinely appointed to you, but this person is not. They kept you up in your head, worrying about why am I calling out to this help that I need? Well, God wants you to call out for help. You know, your divine is there for you. Your guides are there. Uh, universe creates angels specifically for you. And one of the things I will do in your readings, if you ask me to, is to research your personal guardian angel and explain it to you. And maybe your Mayan Oracle and how it ties into how you're living now. Within, you know, there's so many misunderstandings, but I want to tell you it's all the same because it all originates back to the very beginning. Yeah, you're not done. You're, you're not doing this. You're not fighting with these people. Someone's trying to get a wing up on you. They're trying to gossip about you behind your back or something or talk or maybe just take and get advantage over you. I want you to keep your eyes peeled. Your heart wide open, but your eyes smart. You know what the word says? Be wise as a serpent and innocent as a dove. You don't have to be this person. You might need to put up your guard, but you don't need to be that person, right? So... You've got that in your space, and you need to know it's there so that you can fix it. Yes, here you go. Sit in your high priestess, Cancer. You know who she is? She's a divine feminine pope. She has the truth. She trusts what she knows. She doesn't need to be told. She knows old school lessons and spiritual things. She knows things of God, and she knows things of man. She also knows things of the dark side, and she lives in an elevated consciousness on purpose, trusting every choice she makes. This is your guidance this month. Stay in the elevated consciousness and move according to instruction only. That's what they're being told to tell you. That is also Pisces energy. So, hmm, what else do we have? And you will get the victory by behaving in such a way. Keep things to yourself. Keep things between you and divine. If you are pulling back from someone because you're just not 
equal with them, but they're harassing you, pull back. Maybe they'll get a victory. They'll think they got the victory, but that's what happens to people that are in low vibration. They think they're getting victory over you, but the victory is in your silence. Keep going, spirit. Tell my cancers what they need. Yes, you are, darling. Look at you. <clears throat> you are the divine feminine. Cancers this month. You're sitting in the divine feminine. We know that April is Aries Taurus, but you guys are sitting in the mother energy. You're creating something in silence. I recommend you continue to do so. All right. <clears throat> Give me a second to check something. I want to check the energies around you regarding this king with my energy oracle deck. Show me the king, please, spirit. Show me the king in Cancer's life. Show me this king of wands in Cancer's life, please. Deceitful son of a bitch. Think about that. They showed me the devil. What else, please? For this king, he's making you tired. They don't appreciate you. Appreciation's in reverse. I read reversals easy. They don't appreciate you. More, please. You need to know this. You've got a decision to make. And they're holding back their gifts. Their money, their authority, their gifts, their finance to you. They're holding back their admiration right now. Why? Because they don't have, because they're weak. They're weak and they're insecure. Angel of strength is not with them. They're weak and insecure. Now, I'm sorry if you're a cross watcher. Don't you only relate this if it relates to you, okay? You'll know if you're mad. If you're pulled back from somebody because they, they have this intimidating power about them, you know, you can't blame them for getting the victory. They got the victory by having faith. Where's your faith? Be nice to people. Cancers didn't deserve this, apparently. They're goddesses and priests. It's they're the empress and the priest, and they're going to get victory whether you like it or not. Yes, the door to value is here. They know their value now, and you can't take that away from the cancer, whoever you may be. They're in a new place now. Here's my cancer right here in this new place. So what's going to come towards, um, what energy comes with this? Wow. After all of this, after you pull away from all of this, your fairy godmother and your guides and angels are going to wish your, grant your wishes, divine feminine. You're going to get the Holy Spirit, a powerful blessing. If you are, you don't have to be Christian to have Christ. Do you understand? I tell people Christian wasn't even made when he was around. People adopted that. They gave it a name. They needed to name their religion. It's not about that. It's about Christ's contract. It's about an energy, a blood contract. It's important in the universe and apparently to the ancients as well. It's nothing new. We just have to get over all the lies and deceit about what Christ actually is. Say, y'all come on in and help me with this mess I'm in. Get grace to fly all over you. Blessings and favor in, in the face of your enemies. They can spew out hate at you, but you have divine protection with the Holy Spirit. And unctions of the Spirit nobody else gets, only of you. And you get lifted up in their trials. Someone, something, you have a divine favor. And you also have, um, so watch out that you might not have someone attached to your energy. You probably need a good clearing. If you're breaking away from someone and you want some help with that, I do sound healings, gongs, and readings. We could do a clearing for you. You might want to check my web website out. It's uh, bit.ly forward slash Robin's Realm in small letters. R-O-B-I-N-S-R-E-A-L-M. Attachment. You're trying to break away from this attachment. Tell me about that real quick, and then we'll go on to more tarot. Yeah, you got an enlightenment. You got an uh, uh, you got a bump from the spirit to raise your vibration, 
and your solar plexus. Romance angels for you. Wow. You got a lot on your plate. You need some love and you need some healing and angelic healing and clearing. Study. Um, you Almost anything you need is on YouTube anyway. So you can go and study cord cutting methods. And you, you know, anything you do spiritually, if you believe it, believing is how you receive. Right? Romance. Expressing your love. Be bold about expressing love. Watch out for the codependency that is so prevalent in this reading. And love yourself first, my loves. Okay? So I'm going to leave it. Wait, ancestor message for my beautiful cancers. Ancestor message for cancers. I'm picky about covering my cards with crystals to protect the energies. Most especially when I'm in the process of reading. All right. All right, here we go. Ancestor message for cancer, please. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oneness, inner growth, and contemplation. I don't know if I'm going to have time to read that to you. I will not. But know that that's where you're at. Zero point energy starting over again. Your, your wish is being granted. All you need to do now is find a way to get rid of this attachment. Okay? Let me know. You can find me. Just email me if you have a question. I love you. Namaste. Bye, Cancer.